Hi, I'm Roger Cathal. I'm an internist and psychiatrist and I'm currently attending the American Psychiatric Association meeting. And this is an exciting event because we are in part discussing some of the opportunities that psychiatrists have uh, as we think forward uh, to providing better care in the future. This really has to do with uh, the opportunities that arise from the Affordable Care Act and the opportunity for psychiatrists to participate in accountable care organizations as we move forward. So what this means is that psychiatrists traditionally practice in standalone uh, behavioral health settings. Uh, this is really not the way that uh, accountable care organizations can maximize the value of psychiatrist services and other mental health practitioners. They really need to move those services into the medical setting, which is where they currently are not able to practice because of payment uh, procedures. The Affordable Care Act and the opportunity of accountable care organizations to change the way that psychiatrists and other behavioral health professionals are paid will allow them to enter into clinical services in outpatient medical settings, in inpatient general hospital settings, in medical emergency rooms, and in post-acute settings such as nursing homes and care facilities. So what does this mean? This really means that psychiatrists would um, move out of the standalone behavioral health setting. Now there still will be a specialty behavioral health setting for the seriously mentally ill, but 80% of patients that have mental health, mental health problems and substance abuse problems are really seen in the, the medical setting. So what accountable care organizations have an opportunity of doing is making psychiatrists a part of their network of providers so that they can practice in the medical settings with the uh, internists and surgeons and obstetricians and pediatricians so that they can deliver services where the patients are. Uh, we know that patients do not access the services in the behavioral health setting for a variety of reasons, stigma, cost, inconvenience, and et cetera. So what this means is the accountable care organizations that they're thinking about uh, creating better uh, outcomes for the populations that they serve as they enter these risk-based uh, contracts, that they should uh, incorporate uh, psychiatrists and other behavioral health professionals into their network of physicians and create what I call non-traditional behavioral health services. That is, uh, that is behavioral health services that are available in the medical setting. Uh, the question is, can you buy that from current vendors? And the answer is no, you can't. So this is an opportunity for uh, accountable care organizations to actually build in the kind of services that are going to bring them the greatest value. Thank you.